Ladies and gentlemen, you have just tuned into the training module for club treasurers. This module is called the treacherous task of treasuring your club's treasures as treasurer. Maitrezy. This module is separated into three podcasts. This podcast, the first one, is on good financial management. The second podcast is about budgeting. And the third and final podcast in this module is about applying for ARC grants perfectly. Why is this training important, you might ask? Well, to run a club or society, good financial governance is required from ARC. That's why. All clubs, from those that deal with hundreds of thousands of dollars to literally those that deal in ones and zeros, good financial management is required and each dollar needs to be accounted for. That's why club treasurer is one of the core executive positions in any art club or society. Yes, you, my friend, are special. Another reason why this is important? Your club has a responsibility to provide transparent financial records at your annual general meetings with your financial report, to any club member upon their request, and to ARC upon request. Remember you're dealing with real money, and this is the most important reason for this training. You're dealing with real money and potentially real external organizations. The lessons you learn here are invaluable to your lives outside of clubs and outside of uni. Good financial management. The key to good financial management is record keeping. You know you have good record keeping when you can find any minute detail about any expense or revenue that your club has made at any particular time. Are you in this position? If you're confident in your ability to do this, then your training will be a breeze. Do you even have to keep listening? Yes. Y yes, you do. There are many tools you can use to keep track of your financial records. Excel spreadsheets, Google Docs, or OrgSync. There is no wrong way to keep good financial records. You may use whatever works best for you. But we do recommend that you use OrgSync. You can either make use of our general ledger tool or you can download the Excel financial record keeping template found in the file section on your OrgSync portal. If you download and use this, remember to regularly upload it to the file section so that your information is always backed up and available when you need it. And also remember to upload a final copy at the end of your term for the new coming treasurer. Whatever tool you use, your record keeping should keep track of two main things. Income and expenditure. The template our ARC Finance team have provided for you in OrgSync breaks down these two major streams so you can keep track of several types of income streams and types of expenditure simultaneously. Income is really easy to manage. You just need to remember two things. One, record all the relevant details and two, bank the money as soon as you get it. Not the next week, not at the end of the week when it's more convenient. Do it now. Why bother dealing with the risk of losing the money? As for recording all of the relevant details, this is what you need. When did the money come in? What was the date? Where did the money come in from and why? How did the money come in? Was it with cash, card, online transaction? Who gave you the money? This can be very useful information for future reference. And finally, what? How much money did you get? Some of you may be thinking why this detail is necessary at all. The money that comes in is money that I have, right? Yes, and it is true that you may never have to refer to this detail ever again. But for that one time you do need to, it is there. You might need the name of the sponsor who donated $1,000 to your club three years ago to see if they'll do it again. You may need to check to see if a club member has indeed paid for his t-shirt or a formal dinner ticket. Or you may need to see how much income an event made last year, or how much money you got from a grant so you can factor that into your budget. For your expenses on the other hand, you don't need to record that in any detail at all. No, that was a lie. A big lie. You absolutely must record all of those details and more if possible. So let's talk about expenses and buying things. The next couple of points are about what type of expenses your club might have, how to pay for things and proof of purchase. Your expenses may exist as admin costs, bank charges and fees from other subscriptions like PayPal, purchases of things for the short term use of your club like merchandise, consumables, purchases of things for the long term use of your club, equipment and losses from an event, in which case the event will have its own separate ledger detailing all its micro income and expenses. 
Equipment may not seem like something the treasurer has to keep track of. However, the fact is that the treasurer will definitely need to keep an eye on this. A club that keeps losing equipment because of improper storage and care will cost the club a lot of money and eventually will not be able to claim money from an ARC equipment grant for similar purchases. Now it may seem redundant to talk about how to buy things, but just so that we're all on the same page, let's cover it anyway. When paying for a purchase, what are your options? For small, quick purchases, the club may use petty cash. This is usually a sum of money suggested no more than $200 that is kept with the treasurer in a cash box in a safe place. Amounts from this petty cash store must always be exchanged for a receipt at the same time of the amount. So by the time the petty cash runs out, there should be a bunch of receipts in your cash box totaling the amount of cash spent. Naturally, all details from the petty cash purchases must be recorded in your expenses ledger. In fact, a separate ledger for petty cash is advised. When you need to recharge your petty cash store, two out of your three bank signatories may withdraw the same amount from your club's bank account. You may decide that petty cash is inappropriate for some purchases and may be more convenient for the club member to make a purchase on behalf of the club. Firstly, the treasurer needs to be made aware of this purchase before it occurs. Then the club member is to be reimbursed immediately in exchange for a receipt. It is the treasurer's responsibility to inform or remind the club member that they need to bring back a receipt. For all of these petty cash and reimbursement purchases, all details need to be recorded in your ledger and saved somewhere easily and intuitively accessible on OrgSync. Why do I say intuitively? So you can find those details again in eight months time if need be. Of the details that need to be recorded, the most important of all is your proof of purchase. This may be a receipt or a tax invoice, and these provide sufficient evidence of your spending, provided that all the following details are available on the document. The name of the company you purchase from and their ABN. The time and date of your purchase. An itemized list of your purchases. The total of the receipt and an indication of how much GST was charged on the receipt. And yes, we're already receiving angry calls and emails from clubs asking, but what if I purchase things from overseas and they don't have an ABN or any of these other details? And the answer is that for any company without an ABN or other details, you are taking a risk in your purchase and it is possible that the receipt will not be awarded an ARC grant. So what's the best way to store the receipt? Well, the answer used to be in a shoebox under your bed. But you may have noticed that receipts have a tendency to fade over time. Be sure to scan your receipt or take a picture of it and save it to OrgSync in an appropriately named folder. And if you take a picture of it, for God's sake, please make sure it's a good picture because if it's not, your grant will be rejected. Okay, so we've just covered expenses and we're nearly at the end of this podcast. But before we finish up, I just want to make it clear to you on the point of spending money. Please pay for things immediately. Do not leave payments unattended for any reason. The treasurer's duty is to make sure that this happens. Do not leave invoices unpaid. Do not delay in reimbursing club members. If you do, you're a shit treasurer. And if this happens, quit immediately and hand over to someone more responsible. But of course, you are not a shit treasurer. There would be no reason to leave payments waiting because a good treasurer like you would have already budgeted for any expenses and we'll cover budgeting in the next podcast. So thank you for listening to this installment of the treacherous task of treasuring your club's treasures as treasurer. Metrazing. <laughs>